Hi there everyone, hope you're all well. Hoping to see some of you at the uh, British Shooting Show the last weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, next month in February. As always, I'll be trying to get around every stand. It'd be great to see the team from Arc and Optics for their first uh, British Shooting Show over on stand E11. Purposes of this video, I want to go over using 940 nanometers or 850, the pros and cons of different IR illuminators with the Arkan Zulus ZHD 520R and at the shooting show they should hopefully have some demo versions of the new lower mag wider angle ZHD 312R so it's 3 to 12 mag much better for the close-up ratters especially as the LRF works down to 3.5 meters apparently brilliant thanks very much Arkan for taking my uh, feedback on board I, I tried to impress upon them when, when I heard that this the 312 was going out, how important it would be that the laser rangefinder must work below 10 meters. That's excellent. And again, it shows how responsive they are to feedback. Brilliant. The other purpose of this video is to explain the differences between the original Arcan Optics 35 MOA rails, and this is an example of one of them, and the zero MOA rails that some of us are now using. As you can also see, I've dismounted one of the pair of crate bottles for the time being. Following my last video and my upcoming Egg and World article, that will be making another appearance ASAP once I have a 2.2 FAC crate. The reason I've uh, slimmed this back down is uh, for, for a little task I've got coming up for the, for the crate. More on that soon. So that's the pouch that the 940 nanometers IR co comes in. It's clearly labeled IR 940 and we have a pair of sprung contacts at the rear and there's an o-ring seal and the customary IR light warning sticker as you'd expect. What I've got is some footage coming up that I filmed in my local barns with the Z Zulu scope first with 850 nanometer IR, then I fitted the 940 nanometer IR pill. And just a bit of background for you all, I've got a link down below to a thread I started on the Airgun forums.co.uk where I've basically presented a poll to ask you, the viewers, and Arkan Zulu's users and other hunters, you know, whether you'd like the option to be able to buy these uh, 940 nanometers IR pills for the Zulus. And so far, the uh, prevailing opinion is at the very least, most of you would like to either have the choice to buy these or you want these outright. So that's that's interesting because myself, I don't know how often the 850 nanometer uh, IR would spook prey, but if I switch this on, switch it on to night vision mode, and then there you go, that's the little telltale IR light. So that's on level one, two, three, four, five, and you can see that's getting quite bright. Now, it's bright because of this camera is a digital camera, and the digital sensor in the, the, the average mobile phone isn't much different to the digital sensor in a day and night scope. So that looks very bright right now. Put it onto auto, there we go, it adjusts, takes a few seconds, and then off. 940 nanometer is about roughly 25% less efficient, i.e. less bright than 850 nanometers with digital devices like digital um, spotters and day and night scopes. But the benefit of this little 940 nanometer pill is there's a lot less light visible to the naked eye, including to the naked eye of your prey, be that rabbits, rats, foxes, or whatever. So I can't really demonstrate the brightness because the digital camera will pick it up very clearly. So what I've got is some footage recorded in a barn in a normal 30 to 40 meter ratting range where I've recorded at that range with the 850. I've then popped the 940 nanometer on, recorded. And then this is an excellent torch for this demonstration. The Bryanite T28 Artemis. We have white light. Move the little lever into the middle. And that looks fainter because obviously I've got little studio lights set up here. If I switch this off and 
right you can now see that's 850 nanometer IR and if I flare out the beam there you go so and you tighten it right up and you get to the point where you can see the square shape of the LED IR pill flip the lever across to 940 so that's 850 that's 940 on the same power level so they are less bright to uh, the camera to the digital sensor but they do still illuminate to you know reasonable ranges certainly to decent ranges for a sub 12 uk illegal limit air rifle and if i widen this out you virtually can't see the beam at all until i narrow it down so that's 940 nanometer that's 850 significantly brighter with a digital sensor and then that's white obviously lights back on this particular torch i've got fitted with a it's not really qd i do need to use a small allen key but i've got this fitted with a finger adjustable for windage and elevation position a torch mount from customhunting.uk and sadly ash is having to temporarily close his shop for the time being so if you go to customhunting.uk ash has still got some bargains available in his shop all sorts from literally from little little brackets and uh, accessories right up to the digital night vision binoculars that I've previously reviewed with Bruce. So this bracket's a cracker. I've been able to fit this on the side. There we go. That's the torch fitted. I'll show you there. I fitted this torch to te for testing while doing pest control. The two slot Picatinny rail on the side of the Zulus is perfect for this. It does stick out a little bit, so I wouldn't wander around too far but this is perfect for, for, for my testing for static shooting. So I've got that footage coming up. And then with the help of uh, Bruce, that's Mealy Jimmy on the uh, Airgun forums and Billy, GPC Bill on the same forum, we were out at one of Bruce's permissions. So we tested the IR out to 220 yards with 850 and also with 940. We then also tested it out to about 450 yards with 850 again and 940 and I think I've got all the footage I need for that hopefully to edit that today you'll see that even with the, the slightly less efficient 940 nanometers you can still see the eye shine from rabbits hopping around in a wood 450 yards away though you couldn't really see their shapes their bodies whereas with 850 on full power on the Zulus you can see their, their eye shine and their bodies you can see the shapes of them running around so you know which way they're facing for example and also Bruce has tested the uh, Vixel 850 nanometers and 940 nanometers with the Zulu scopes and they're both well within the UK legal limits for IR uh, radiation, IR light. So that's superb. So you can see this is the 850 nanometer IR. If I on level one, if I pop it up, two, three, four, five, and obviously the scope automatically adjusts to the brightness but it's got the characteristic sparkle on the steelwork indicative of the Vixel IR. Let's put it onto one more step onto auto, give it a second to find its happy place. One more thing before I nearly forgot, this is on spread beam. If I find the Vixel and turn the front collar, this concentrates the beam, focuses it and it's not bad. You can see it slightly right of centre, the right end end of the horizontal stadia there, where the focus is. I'm just going to switch this off and pop on the uh, 940 nanometer pixel, and we'll see how this compares for brightness. Okay, recording again. The 940 nanometer fitted. Let's switch it on. Okay, that's level one. And let's just go to level two, three, four, five, and then up to auto, which takes a second to adjust. Okay, and I think I can already see that my focus of the beam is slightly right of center. So let's pop it back to level one. 
off and then onto one. Let's turn the focus ring to concentrate the 940 nanometer beam. And difficult to be sure, but yes, I can see again that the focus of the 940 nanometer beam is at the right hand end of the horizontal stadia. So it's not centered on the center of the crosshair. And this is with the X and Y at 0, 0. Okay, let's open it back out again. Perfectly usable, of course. Now we have a, a pair of older sessions uh, recorded the month before using a Brynite T28 Artemis LED IR torch. And I must confess, it wasn't quite on full power at this point. This is 850 nanometers, and I've already adjusted. There we go, the focus adjusting. And I've already adjusted via the custom hunting mount. I've adjusted the beam to be roughly centered on the reticle. So I'm just scanning around, and the range is 30 meters, so not quite as much as before as the previous footage you've just watched, but there was farm machinery behind me. And so you can see there's a, you might be able to see a slight pattern to the IR with the LED. And there I focused it down just to briefly show you the, um, the square pattern of the LED array. And then here I switched over to 940 by moving the lever on the, on the torch. The IR is off to the left. So I've got to adjust the bracket because the two pills within the torch are not perfectly aligned and also Whenever you change between daylight to IR and include within IR from 850 to 940, you have a slight focus adjustment. And so here we are, there we go. That's me adjusting the beam horizontally to match the reticle. And those two shiny objects in the center of the screen, that's not rat size, that's the uh, flats on a pair of uh, nuts or bolts holding that uh, column. In the corner of the barn. So you can see that, oh, that's flicked it onto 850 there and then back onto 940 for the comparison. So you can see 850 is, like I say, 25% brighter than 940. And then for a few seconds here, I tw rem remembered the power control, turned the, the uh, 940 up further, and you can see how clear that is. So the the Arkan Zulu ZHD 520R is perfectly at home with 850 and 940 nanometers um, LED IR to air gun ranges. Here I joined Billy and Bruce out of one of Bruce's permissions. This is 220 yards to the fence and I think we're on 850 nanometers right now, the brighter one. It was causing some whiteout. In a second you'll see I've clearly denoted which it, bits 940 and which bits 850. There was some confusion because some both scopes were recording at once and um, we had to put our fingers over the IR alternately. So that's 940 and Bruce is commenting that was the better one at 220 meters at full power. They were on full power so we could get a fair comparison whereas if we would put them onto auto they would have automatically dimmed down to suit the conditions. So this is onto 850, full power, and there's more whiteout on the bushes in the foreground. And I say foreground, that's nearly 200 yards. So, um, yeah, very good. But Bruce's comments was on full power, the 940 was far better at 220 yards. So you can see the rabbits running around and you've got some eye shine. Superb. Thanks very much, gents, for your time. Brilliant. We've got two Arc and Zulu scopes here, one with an 940 nanometer, the one on the left, and an 850 nanometer IR, the one on the They're both switched on and both at full power at the moment, but I've got my finger over the front of them. So we're actually, the image you're looking at just now has got no IR. If I move my finger out of the way at the 850, and you look at that, those trees are just about 400 yards away. Right, you can see how bright that is. If I put my finger on and then off the, on the 940. You can still see the trees but that image is not as bright. That's definitely, it's definitely less bright with the 940 than it is with the 850. So it's 940 off, 850 definitely brighter, both off. Both on, of course it's brighter still. So I hope all that made sense. Thanks very much again to Arcanoptics. 
Thanks to Bruce and Billy and everyone who's given us feedback on the, the airgun forums, go to UK, because uh, there are now, I think, three or four threads for the Arkan Zulus. Bruce started one called User Experiences. There was already one called uh, Hitak, referring to the former brand. And there are maybe at least two other threads on, on these excellent Zulu scopes. So I'm looking forward to meeting a team from Arkan Optics at the British Shooting Show in uh, just less than a month now. I look forward to seeing lots of you there. You, can, you won't be able to miss me because I'll either be recording, chatting to people, interviewing people on various stands, or I'll be sitting down, resting my legs, while uploading videos to uh, YouTube, topping up my phone battery, and then moving on to the next stand. It's going to be a busy three days. Looking forward to it. So I'll see you all there. Thanks for watching. Take care and enjoy your shooting. Cheers. So that's the Desert Tan, or two-tone if you like, Rexmex Ixia Compact, adjustable power, although sub-12 for the UK. PCP air rifle, which is very, very well equipped and a very reasonable price. Kindly on loan from Nick and the team at Wirral Guns. And different look again, all black. This is the RTI P3 Compact, kindly on loan from the team at Highland Outdoors. Two quite different rifles, thorough reviews coming very soon. Thanks for watching.